We're now going to look at circle theorem number three, and it is called angles in a cyclic quadrilateral, ACQ for short. A cyclic quadrilateral is a four-sided shape which lies inside a circle, such that all of the corners of the quadrilateral lie on the circumference of the circle. And the property is that the diagonally opposite angles in the cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180 degrees. So A plus B will add up to 180, but also C plus D will add up to 180. Okay, so we're now going to apply uh, circle theorem number three, angles in a cyclic quadrilateral. So you can see our circle diagram. We clearly have a cyclic quadrilateral because all the corners of the quadrilateral lie on the circumference of the circle. So first of all, we want to get A and B. Well, B is the easy one because B and 42 are diagonally opposite, so they add up to 180. So that means that angle B is equal to 180 subtract 42, which is going to give us 138 degrees. And the reason, because of ACQ, angles in a cyclic quadrilateral. Okay, to get angle A, we would need to know this angle up in here. So we're going to have to work out this angle first. And the angle up in here is angles on a straight line with the 105. So if we take 105 away from 180, we're going to get 75 degrees. So that little angle is 75, and that's because of ASL. So these two angles are diagonally opposite, so they will add up to 180. So to get A, we subtract 75 from 180, and we're going to get 105 degrees. So the angle at A is just equal to 105 degrees. And there's two reasons we got that. We used angles on a straight line first to get this angle up here, and then we use angles in a cyclic quadrilateral then to help us get A. So the reasons were ASL and ACQ. And that's it. That is circle theorem three, angles in a cyclic quadrilateral.